Three, two, one, release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete, Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. And 60 seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is 279,000 feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather, and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or reaction control system, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing. As soon as we cross the boundary to space, we'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. Remember the day, remember where you are, and remember who you shared this with, and remember the name Virgin Galactic, because today, space is virgin territory. The culmination of a life's work, more than a half a century since the world rejoiced in and was transformed by humans leaving planet Earth, Sir Richard Branson fulfills his long-held dream of experiencing space with his crew. Congratulations again, Richard, and congratulations also to Sarisha and Colin on becoming astronauts today. And welcome back to space to Dave, Mike, and Beth. Oh, you can see them now. Now, when we talk about space travel, a lot of people know and expect the boost portion of the flight to be loud and thrilling. Uh, but what's interesting is reentry is also very similar as supersonic air is flowing over the vehicle in the feathered configuration. Shock waves form on top of the cabin, which are audible to those inside. And for those of you on site watching on the ground, you should be able to hear a double sonic boom as Spaceship Unity once again breaks the sound barrier. Now, as the feather comes down, the nose of spaceship is going to drop. This is normal and expected. Once that feather is down and locked, the pilots will begin a gentle pull up to a level attitude. And I'm hearing the feather is down and locked now. So at this point, Spaceship Unity is a glider, so it's all about balancing her potential and kinetic energy. So if the pilots want to go faster, they point the nose down. And if they want to go slower, they bring the nose up. I don't know about you all, but I am still feeling overwhelmed and excited about what we just witnessed. And there's one person in particular who's got to be having all of the feels right now. You can see him sending a congratulatory shake to his passenger, Colin Bennett, there with him. Let's see if we can connect with the crew again here. 
is a manual dump to 200. Congratulations to everybody for uh, for creating such a beautiful, beautiful place. Congratulations to all our wonderful team at Virgin Galactic for 17 years of hard, hard work to get us this far. All right, we have three landing gear down and locked. Now the pilots are going to be landing on runway 34 today, so that's coming from the south and towards the north for those of you on site watching. And for the non-pilots tuning in, those numbers represent the first two numbers of the magnetic heading of the runway. So for example, 34 is 340 degrees on your compass. We are just about a thousand feet above the field now and on final. 500 feet above the runway. 300 feet. Over the threshold. Main gear touchdown. And we're going to hold it just like this for a minute before bringing the nose down. Can see they're already celebrating inside there. And the nose is coming down now. Nose gear touchdown. And braking. that incredible drone footage here as we come in and there is full stop All right. a perfect landing virgin galactic or mission specialist on board so uh the mission statement that i wrote inside my spacesuit was to uh turn the dream of space travel into a reality for uh my grandchildren who, who are here for your grandchildren uh, and for many people who are alive today, for everybody. Um, and having flown to space, I can see even more clearly how Virgin Galactic is the space line for Earth. Um, we're here to make space more accessible to all, all, and we want to turn the next generation of dreamers into the astronauts of uh, today and tomorrow. Um, we've all, of us on this stage, have just had the most extraordinary experience and we'd love it if a number of you can have it too um, and with that in mind i have some news um, so today virgin galactic is thrilled to announce that we have partnered with amaze uh, to open space for for everyone um, so if you go to amaze.com i think um, uh, slash space to enter um, uh, you have a chance to go to space um, and every donation supports uh, a charity called Space for Humanity. Uh, and you'll be entered into the Amaze uh, sweepstakes for the chance to win not one, but two seats aboard one of the first commercial Virgin Galactic space flights. So just imagine a world where people of all ages, all backgrounds from anywhere of any gender, of any ethnicity have equal access to space. And they will, in turn, I think, inspire us back here on Earth. If you've ever, ever had a dream, now is the time to make it come true. And I'd just like to end by saying, welcome to the dawn of a new space age. Thank you. It's a ridiculous honor for me, sir, to be able to give you something that you have earned so, so handily. Thank you. Thank you. Nice chest, Richard. That's good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this here 
is Sir Richard Branson, astronaut. <laughs>